Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this little girl's or little boy's cardigan which can be made with both short sleeves or long sleeves. So this cardigan can be made in a variety of sizes and for all of the sizing information please see the description box below. And for my cardigan I used a 5mm crochet hook. So thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more crochet okay, videos. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do for our cardigan is we are going to make a slip knot. So to do a slip knot you want to take your yarn and you want to take your finger and you want to wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice. Then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook, go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip so once knot. once you have your slip knot, you now want to make your foundation chain. And for your foundation chain, you want to chain 52. So we are going to chain 52. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to 52. Okay, so I have just finished working my foundation chain and this is what I have and I am now ready to move on to round one of my cardigan. And for round one we are going to do a plain row of double crochets. So we are going to work one double crochet into every single chain along. And we are going to work our first double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. So here is the first chain from the hook, here is the second, here is the third, and here is the fourth and into this chain we are going to work our first double crochet. So to do a double crochet you yarn over and go into the chain, so the fourth chain from the hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops. So that is one double crochet and we're going to do one double crochet into each chain along for round one. So I'm going to yarn over and go into the next chain and work my next double crochet. And then the same thing into the next stitch and just do this all the way along. Okay, so I have come to the end of round one and that was one double crochet into each stitch along and I am now ready to move on to round two of my so cardigan. to begin round two, we are going to chain two and turn. So you want to chain one and chain two and turn. And this chain two counts as our first double crochet of round two. So now for round two, we are going to do one double crochet into one stitch and then two double crochets into the next, then one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochets into the next, all the way along. So we have chain two and this counts as our first double crochet for this stitch here. So we are going to begin working into the second stitch along and into this stitch we are going to do two double crochets. So you want to yarn over and go into this stitch here. Remember not to go into this stitch as the chain two is the double crochet for this stitch. So we're going to go into the second stitch along and work two double crochets both into this stitch. So there's one and we're going to go into the same stitch and work a second double crochet. Then into the next stitch along, we are going to work one double crochet. And into the next stitch, two double crochets, both into this stitch. And then one double crochet into the next one. And two double crochets, both into the next one. And you just want to repeat this all the way along for round two. One double crochet into one stitch, two double crochets into the next.
So I'm just coming to the end of round two and I have one last stitch to work into and this chain is the turning chain from last round. So at the beginning of last round, at the beginning of row one, we skipped three chains and when we skipped three chains, this counted as our first double crochet. So at the end of this round, we must work into this stitch here. If you don't work into this stitch, you will have uneven edges. So I'm going to yarn over and go into the very last stitch, which is the turning chain. And these can sometimes be a little bit tricky to get into. So I'm going to yarn over and go into the top of the turning chain and work two double crochets, as that is the way this pattern is gone. And I worked one double crochet into the last stitch, so I need to work two double crochets into this final stitch here. Okay, so we are now on to round three of our cardigan. And round three is the exact same thing as round two. We are going to start off by chaining two and turning. And this chain two counts as our first double crochet. And we are now going to do two double crochets into one stitch, one double crochet into the next. Then two double crochets into the next, one double crochet into the next all the way along for round three. This is the exact same thing as we just did for round or row two. So we have chain two and this counts as our first double crochet. So we are not going to work into this stitch here as the chain two is the double crochet for that stitch. And instead we are going to go into this stitch and work two double crochets. So you want to yarn over, go into this stitch here and work two double crochets. and then one double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochets into the next. And one double crochet into the next. And by doing this, we are increasing around the neckline of our cardigan. So you just want to do that all the way along for row three, just the exact same thing as we did for row two. So I'm two. just coming to the end of round three, and this is what I have, and I have one stitch left to work into. And technically I should work two double crochets both into this stitch, as I've just worked one double crochet into the previous stitch, so I should work two into the next stitch. However, I'm only going to do one double crochet into the final stitch of this row. And it just makes our numbers a little bit nicer and more even to work one double crochet into the last stitch. And once you have worked your final double crochet, you should have 110 stitches along after row three or round three. So you may want to go back and check that you do have 110 stitches. And if you don't, that is okay, but it now is the time to correct it. The next row that we are going to do is going to be a patterned row. So you need to make sure that you have the right number of stitches. And whilst working my last double crochet, I'm going to change colours. So in my cardigan, I want rounds four and five to be in a different colour. So I'm going to change colours now so that round four and five can be worked in a different colour. And I'm going to change colours whilst working this final double crochet. So of course you do not have to change colours, it's completely optional. But if you do want to change colours, then I will show you how to so do that now. So what we're going to do is we're going to change colours whilst working the double crochet. So we're going to start the double crochet using the colour that we are using and then finish off the double crochet using our new colour. So we are going to yarn over and go into the stitch and remember we are only working one double crochet into the last stitch and then we are going to start working a double crochet. So do the first two steps of a double crochet but you do not want to complete it so you do not want to yarn over and pull through these two loops. Instead you want to drop the yarn that you were using and take your new yarn and you want to pick up the new yarn place it over the end of your hook and pull it through. And this will complete your double crochet and your row and change colours at the same time. So now what you want to do is you want to fasten off using the colour that you were using. So cut your yarn leaving a nice long tail to weave into the inside of your cardigan later and we are ready to move on to our next round using our new colour. And if you didn't want to change colours then you should just work one double crochet as normal into this last stitch. So we are now on to row or round four of our cardigan and we are going to start off this round by chaining three and turning. So you want to chain one, two, three 
and turn. And I am using my new colour here. And before we start this round, I want to mention that you must do this round loosely. So you do not want to go too tight. If you do that, you will end up with uneven edges on your cardigan. So you want to work this round nice so and round loose. round four is going to be the star stitch round. So we are going to be making the star stitch all the way across our work for this row or for this round. So to do our first star, we have our chain three here and you want to insert your hook into the second chain from the hook. So here is the first chain from the hook and here is the second chain from the hook and you want to insert your hook into this chain and pull up a loop. So yarn over and pull up a loop. And you then want to go into the next chain down. So this would be the third chain from the hook and go into this chain and yarn over and pull up a loop and then go into the first stitch so this first stitch here go into the stitch and pull up a loop and then go into the next stitch along and pull up a loop and then into the next stitch along and pull up a loop and remember do not work too tight so you should now have six loops on your hook, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you want to yarn over and pull through all six loops on your hook, like that, and then chain one to complete the star. So we are going to chain one. So that is the first star completed, or the first star stitch, and this first one is slightly different to all of the rest. The way that we work the next one will be the way that we work the rest of them throughout the round. So, to do the next star, we are going to insert our crochet hook into the eye of the previous star. So here is the previous star, and this loop here where we chained one is the eye. So you want to insert your hook into the eye, and pull up a loop and then you want to insert your hook just before the last spoke of the previous star. So all of these sort of lines or stitches are called spokes. So we are going to go into the space before the final spoke. So in through there and pull up a loop and then we are going to pull up a loop from the last stitch that was pulled up in the previous star and it sounds complicated but you will get the hang of it so into this stitch here which is pulled up go into this stitch and pull up a loop and then pull up a loop from each of the next two stitches and remember do not work too tight so you should have six loops on your hook again and you want to yarn over and pull through all six and then chain one. And there we have our second star and the way that we made that one will be the way that the rest of them are made throughout the round. So I'm going to move on to the next one. So you want to insert your hook into the eye, pull up a loop, then just before the last spoke, pull up a loop, then into the last space that was pulled up, and pull up a loop, then into the next two stitches. Pull up a loop from each stitch. You should now have six loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all six, and then chain one. And then do this again and again and again and again for this round. So we are going to go into the eye and pull up a loop right before the last spoke, or into the space before the last spoke then into the last space that was pulled up in the previous star, then into the next two stitches. Pull up a loop from each of those spaces. Then yarn over, pull through all six loops loosely, and chain one. And you just want to repeat that all the way along, and here you get a nice star stitch.
I have just finished working the star stitch all the way along for row 4 and you can see there, if the camera focuses, the star stitch and I've come to the very last stitch and I've worked my final star stitch and you should have one stitch left to work into and this will be the turning chain and into this turning chain you want to work one half double crochet so to do a half double crochet you yarn over and go into the stitch so into the top of the turning chain and then you yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook and that is one half double crochet so we have now finished round four and this is the first row of our star stitch and we are ready to move on to row five or round five which is going to be the second and final row of our star stitch so I'm going to continue on with this colour and you so want to So we are now to. on to round 5 of our cardigan and this round 5 is going to be the final row of our star stitch so we're going to complete the star stitch so to begin round 5 you want to chain 2 and turn and this chain 2 counts as a stitch this counts as one half double crochet and now round five is pretty simple. We are just going to work two half double crochets into the eye of each star across. So if you look here, this is the back of our work. And whenever you work the star stitch, you have a definite front and back. So this is the back and here are the stars. And these little holes are the eye of each star. So where we chained one. And we're going to go into the eye of each star and work two half double crochets. So I'm going to yarn over and go into the first eye, which is here. I'm going to go into this stitch and work one half double crochet. So to do a half double crochet, you yarn over and go into the stitch, then yarn over and pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So that is one half double crochet. And I'm going to yarn over and go back into the same space and work a second one. So then I'm going to do the same thing into the next eye here. I'm going to yarn over, go into the eye and work two half double crochets. And with this row, you need to make sure that you are not working too tight again. So yarn over, go into the next stitch and two half double crochets. And when I say stitch, I mean the eye. And then into the next eye of the next star, two half double crochets and just do this all the way along for row five and this is going to complete our star stitch so it sort of does the bottom of the stars so I have just finished working that all the way along for row five so that was two half double crochets into the eye of each star from the previous row and you can see this has finished off my star stitch nicely so when i've come to the end and we should have one stitch left to work into and this last stitch is the chain two that we did at the beginning of the row so into this final stitch we are going to do one half double crochet but whilst doing the half double crochet i am going to change colors so before when we changed colors we changed colors whilst working a double crochet and here we are going to change colors whilst working a half double crochet so I'm going to start the half double crochet using the colour that I'm using now and then finish the half double crochet using my new colour. And if you don't want to change colours, then just work a half double crochet as usual to complete the row. So I'm going to yarn over and go into the top of the chain two, so the last stitch. So this is going to start my half double crochet and then yarn over and pull up a loop. But I am not going to complete the half double crochet using this colour. I'm going to drop this colour and take my new yarn and place this yarn over the end of my hook and pull it through. And this will complete my half double crochet and complete the row whilst changing colours at the same time. And I can now fasten off, so cut the yarn that I was using, so the white colour, leaving a long tail to weave into the inside of my cardigan later. 
and I'm ready to move on to round six. So we are now on to round six of our cardigan and we are going to start round six with a chain two and turn. And I'm using my new colour here and for this round and for all the other rounds of our cardigan we are back to normal tension. So you don't want to be working this loosely anymore, that was just for the star stitch. And now for round six we are going to do one double crochet into each stitch along. So it's a very simple row or simple round of just one double crochet into every single stitch. And this chain two counts as a stitch, this counts as a double crochet. So we are not going to work into this first stitch here as the chain two is the double crochet for that stitch. Instead, we're going to go into this stitch. So yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two more loops. So that is one double crochet and you want to do that into every single stitch along for round six. Okay, so I have just finished working row six or round six and that was one double crochet into each stitch along and I came to the end and worked my final double crochet into the turning chain. And at chain. the end of round six, it's really important that you go back and check that you have the right number of stitches. So we should have 110 stitches along, or 110 double crochets, and that includes the turning chain at the beginning of this round. And if you don't have the right number of stitches, so you don't have 110 stitches across, then now is the time to change it. So if you are a couple of stitches short, then you can go back and work a couple of additional stitches throughout round six. So work two stitches into one or two or three stitches, however many you need throughout round six. And then if you have a few stitches too many, then you can skip the right number of stitches. So skip a couple of stitches or work two double crochets together for as many times as necessary. But at the end of round six, you should have 110 stitches along, and I do. And we are now ready to move on to round seven so of our cardigan. We are now on to round seven of our cardigan. And if you take your work at the moment and fold it so that it's in the shape of a cardigan with the opening at the front, you will see that we have a big loop. In round seven, we are going to add the shape to our cardigan. So we are going to be adding the front, the back, and both of the armholes. So we're going to be turning our big loop into the shape that we want. So what we are going to do is we are going to work all the way along for the front of our cardigan. And then we are going to skip some stitches for the armhole. Then we're going to work all the way along for the back, skip some more stitches for the next armhole, and then work along the front again to complete round seven. And at the end of this round, you will have the shape of your cardigan finished. So this round has worked along the back of our cardigan, but when we turn it the right way around, it still works. So we are now going to move on to round seven. So the first thing that we are going to do for this round is we are going to chain two and turn. So chain one and then chain two and turn. And this chain two counts as our first double crochet. So we are starting off with one side of the front of our cardigan and this side is going to be 18 double crochets long and this includes our chain two. So you now want to work one double crochet into each of the next 17 stitches and then with the chain two that will be 18 double crochets across. So you want to yarn over and go into the stitch. So into the next stitch, don't go into this first one as the chain two is a double crochet for this stitch. So you want to go into the next one and work your first double crochet. And then into the next one along and do this 17 times. So I have just worked my 17 double crochets and with the chain two that counts as 18 double crochets and that is now one side of the front of our cardigan completed and we are going to move on to the first armhole and for the first armhole we are simply going to skip 20 stitches so you want to count up to 20 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 all the way up to so 20. here is my 20th stitch along and I'm going to skip all of those stitches and then you want to work one double crochet into the next stitch along. So this stitch here is the 20th stitch along 
So I'm going to skip that stitch and go into the next stitch, which is the 21st stitch along, and work a double crochet into this stitch. So you want to yarn over, and you want to make sure that you do this stitch quite tightly. So go into this stitch and sort of pull your work together to make sure that it's nice and tight and work a double crochet. Like that. And there you have completed your first armhole. And we have also worked the first stitch of the back of our cardigan. And the back of our cardigan is going to be 35 double crochets long. So we are going to do 35 double crochets across for the back. So we have worked one here, so we are going to work 34 more. So one double crochet into 34 or 35 stitches, 35 including the one that we just worked. Okay, so I have worked my 35 double crochets across for the back of my cardigan, and you want to go back and check that you definitely work the right number of stitches. So we have now done one half of the front, one armhole and all the way along the back. So we are going to now do the second armhole. And this armhole is worked in the same way as the other one. We are going to skip 20 stitches. So count up to 20 and skip these stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to 20. So here is my 20th stitch and we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch along. So this is the 21st stitch along. So yarn over and go into the stitch and pull your work nice and tight together and work a double crochet. Just like that. And now to finish off round seven and to finish off shaping our cardigan, you want to work one double crochet into the rest of the stitches along for the second half of the front of our cardigan. And this should be 17 stitches, including the one that we just worked. You should work 17 double crochets So I have across. now finished round seven and I worked those 17 double crochets and this is what I have. And you can see that we now have a front, a back and two armholes. And that is the hard part of the cardigan completely done. The rest of our cardigan is very easy. So we are now about to move on to round eight and we are going to chain two and turn to begin round eight. So chain one, two and turn. And this chain two counts as a double crochet. And for round eight, we are simply going to work one double crochet into each stitch along. And you need to make sure that you don't go into this first stitch as our chain two counts as a stitch. So when working your double crochets, you want to go all the way along, but do not go up into the armholes. We are done with the armholes for now. So you just want to go straight along like that. So just do one double crochet into each stitch along for row eight or round eight. So I have just finished round eight and that was one double crochet into each stitch and you need to make sure that you are going into the turning chain from last row. And the rounds are much smaller now as we don't have to work along the arm. So round nine of our cardigan and the rest of the rounds for the body of our cardigan are just going to be repeats of row eight. So for row eight, we chained two and turned and then worked one double crochet into each stitch around. And you want to repeat that for rounds 9, 10, 11, 12, and however many rounds you want until you feel that your cardigan is long enough. So just keep repeating rounds of double crochets, chaining two and turning to start, and then work one double crochet into each stitch along. And you want to do that for as many rounds as you like until you feel that your cardigan is long enough. So I'm probably going to repeat round eight six or seven more times, but if you're doing a bigger cardigan and a larger size, then you will want to work more rounds. And if you're doing a smaller size, then you won't want to work as many. So you just want to keep repeating round eight for the rest of the body of our cardigan.
Okay, so I have just finished working the length of my cardigan and a good way to measure the length is to get a piece of clothing in the same size and work down to that length. So if you don't want to have sleeves, if you want short sleeves, then you can stop here and move on to your border. But I want my cardigan to have long sleeves. So I'm going to show you how to do that okay, now. Okay, so we are now going to create the sleeves of our cardigan. So we're going to work each sleeve in the same way and we're going to attach our sleeves to our armholes. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach our yarn to this stitch here and then work all the way around. So work a round of double crochets and then work a slip stitch to finish the round. And then just keep repeating that round again and again until we have our sleeve which is long enough. So we are going to start off by attaching a new colour and this is a very secure method for attaching a new colour. This is my favourite method to use. So I'm going to do a slip knot. So you want to do a slip knot in the same way as we did at the very beginning of our cardigan. And when we do our slip knot, you want to leave a long tail. So leave a long tail or a long straggler end. And we are now going to insert our hook into this stitch here. And the stitch that we are going to go into is the one before the first one that we skipped. So here is the first stitch that we skipped for our armhole. So we're going to go into the one before it here. And this stitch already has a double crochet coming out of it. So we are going to go into this stitch and then we're going to take our new yarn and this is the yarn coming from the ball and also the straggler end and sort of place it around the back and then using the crochet hook pick up the yarn and pull it through. So pull both pieces of yarn through and we should now have three loops on our hook and we're going to take this last one here and pull this loop and this loop only over the end of the crochet hook. So make sure the other two loops stay on the hook and then pull tight. And there we have attached a new colour and we now want to chain one. So we're going to chain one. And this attaching a new colour and chaining one counts as chain two. And the chain two counts as one double crochet. So what we are now going to do is we're going to work one double crochet into each stitch around. And we should work 25 double crochets in total, including what we have just done here. So we should have attaching a new colour and chaining one plus 24 double crochets around. So I'm going to yarn over and go into the next stitch. So this is the first stitch that I skipped. So I'm going to yarn over, go into the stitch and work a double crochet. And then I'm going to do this all the way around. And it's very simple at first because we are just going into stitches as usual. But in the last few stitches, it's a little bit tricky as we have to go into the side of the double crochets. But I will show you what to do when we get to that point. So I have just worked that all the way along. So that was 21 double crochets. And I am now going to come to the bottom of my armhole like this. So I've reached this point. And the next stitch we're going to work into already has a double crochet coming out of it. This was the first stitch of the front of our cardigan or this side of the front of our cardigan. So we're going to yarn over and go into this stitch even though it already has a double crochet coming out of it. And we're going to work our 22nd double crochet along into this stitch. And then the next stitch we're going to work into is going to be the side of the double crochet. So this is the double crochet here or the first double crochet for this side of the front of our cardigan and we're going to go into the side of this stitch or into this stitch here. So you want to yarn over and actually go into the stitch, not into the space before it but into the stitch and if you don't do this you will have a big hole in your cardigan. So we're going to go into the stitch and work a double crochet. So then the next place that we are going to work into is going to be this stitch here. And this stitch will be bigger, it's kind of a longer stitch and it's just one string as this is where we attached our um, armholes, this is how we made our armholes. So we're going to yarn over and go into the space and work a double crochet. So you can go into here. So like that, so work a double crochet into the longer bottom stitch and that will be your 24th double crochet. 
and then we're going to work our 25th double crochet into the side of the next stitch. So into this stitch here, this is a double crochet and we're going to go into the side of this stitch, just like we did back here. So yarn over and go into the stitch or into the side of the stitch. And then we have finished. So we have worked 25 double crochets around and this is the first round for our sleeves. And to finish off this round, we are going to work a slip stitch into the chain one that we did at the beginning. So at the beginning, we attached a new color and chained one and you want to go into this chain and work a slip stitch. So we are going to go into this chain and work a slip stitch. So just pull the yarn through and, and just through a little again. tip, if you don't want a obvious seam going down your um, sleeve, then you can work your slip stitch into the first actual double crochet that we worked. So into the first double crochet rather than the chain one. And then in the next round, instead of working one double crochet into the first stitch, work two. So by working a slip stitch into the first double crochet, you are decreasing by one stitch. So you then want to work an additional stitch into the next round. So into the first stitch of the second round, work two stitches to even it out. And that just stops there being a seam. So it is easier and simpler to work it into the chain one. But if you want your work to be a little bit nicer and not have such an obvious seam, then work a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked and then work an additional double crochet into the first stitch of the next round. So we are now going to move on to round two of our so sleeves. So for round two of our sleeves, we are going to chain two and turn. And this counts as our first double crochet. So we are now just going to do one double crochet into each stitch around, and that should be 25 stitches in total. So we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch here, and work a double crochet, our first double crochet, and then into each stitch. And you do want to count and make sure that you have 25, otherwise your sleeves will not be even and they will be a wonky shape. So just do 25 double crochets. So I have just worked that all the way around for round two. So that was 25 double crochets. And I'm going to finish off this round with a slip stitch. So you want to do a slip stitch into the top of the chain two, or you could do a slip stitch into the first double crochet. So this is the chain two, and this is the first double crochet. But if you do a slip stitch into the double crochet, then you will need to work an additional double crochet into the first stitch of the next round. So it's up to you, but I'm going to go into the double crochet. But if you are a beginner at crochet and you want to keep it nice and easy, then do a slip stitch into the chain two. So I'm now ready to move on to round three of my sleeves. And round three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and however many rounds you like are going to be the same as round two. Chain two, one double crochet into each stitch, and then a slip stitch at the end of the round. And you should work 25 double crochets in total. And you want to do that for however many rounds you like until you feel that your sleeves are long enough. And obviously if you're doing a bigger size then you will want to work more rounds. But it is important that you make sure that you count however many rounds you do and keep track of them as you are doing two sleeves and you want them to be exactly the same. So make sure that you count how many rounds you do as you go along and just keep working rounds of double crochet. Okay, so I have just worked my sleeve, so I just repeated that round again and again until my sleeve was long enough. And once I have finished, I'm going to fasten off. So cut my yarn and pull my yarn and hook out, and then leave an end to tie into the inside of my cardigan later. So that is one of my sleeves done, and then I'm going to repeat the same steps on the opposite side of my cardigan onto the other armhole so that I have both sleeves. And make sure that you do both sleeves the exact same length so that you count the number of rows and do the same number over so this side. So once you have done your cardigan and you've also done your sleeves, I still have this one to do, but I'm going to do that later. You want to do your border all the way around your cardigan. So we are going to make a single crochet border around every single edge. 
So we're going to go up here around the neckline, back down and then all the way around the bottom. And then I'm going to do a single crochet border around the sleeves. And this just finishes it off a lot nicer. So you want to do one single crochet into every single stitch along or up here on the sides, you want to go into the side of each row. So see each row or the side of each row as one stitch and work a single crochet into that stitch. So just do one single crochet into each stitch or each row and then when you reach a corner, so this corner, this corner and then down the bottom, this corner and this corner, you want to do three single crochets into the corner space. If you were just to do one single crochet, you wouldn't have a neat corner. So you need to do three single crochets into these corner spaces. So just do single crochets all the way up, all the way around, all the way down, and then all the way back around. And on this corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner, work three single crochets into each of the corner spaces. So I have worked single crochets all the way up to the top and I have a couple of stitches left to work into before I reach my top corner. And I'm going to make a button loop. And if you don't want to do this, you can crochet a button hole or you can just use the spaces in between the stitches as button holes. But I'm going to do a button loop. So what I've done is I've gone about half an inch um, from the top of the top of my cardigan and I'm just going to now chain four or five. So I'm going to chain one, two, three, and then four. And then I'm going to go into the next stitch and just work a single crochet as usual. And if you want a bigger button, then chain more. Or if you want a smaller button, then chain Okay, less. so I have completely finished my cardigan. I worked my single crochet border all the way around. So I worked one single crochet into the side of each row, then three double crochets into the corner, then a single crochet all the way around the neckline, three single crochets into this corner, back down, three single crochets into the bottom corner, all the way around, and then I finished off the border at the very end. And then I worked my second sleeve and then worked single crochet borders onto each sleeve. So I just did a single crochet into each stitch around. And then where I had made my button loop, I attached a button to secure it all together. And then I ran an iron over this, so I pressed my cardigan and I have finished. And I also weaved all of my ends into the inside nice and securely. It's really important that you weave them in securely into the inside of your cardigan. So that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos and thanks again for watching. Bye!